In This Week in Military History, we look back at the War of 1812 to explore the Battle of the Thames. This American victory against Tecumseh's Confederacy and their British allies took place on October 5th, 1813, in Upper Canada, near Chatham. Following the Battle of Lake Erie, Major General Henry Proctor, commander of the British and Canadian forces, ordered a retreat along the Thames River, since the British Canadian forces were short of both supplies and ammunition. However, Tecumseh and his warriors challenged the retreat, fearing that the British would leave the native settlements west of Detroit vulnerable and instead eagerly pushed for direct engagement with the Americans. President Madison had two objectives in engaging in battle. First and foremost was the recovery of Detroit, which had been surrendered to the British a few months earlier in August. His secondary objective was an attack upon Upper Canada. Proctor persuaded his ally Tecumseh to join him in the retreat, assuring that he would engage the Americans and, after a disorderly withdrawal, eventually made true on that promise at Moravian Town, situated on the Thames River. Proctor placed his single battalion on the left, across the road between the river and the smallest swamp, while Tecumseh's forces were situated on the right. American General William Henry Harrison concentrated his men in the centre column with Kentucky mounted riflemen riding hard and charging from the woods to the cannons before overrunning the starved British artillerymen in a devastating attack. As the British surrendered, the American troops dismounted to confront the warriors in the swamp itself, meeting stiff resistance. Fighting in the swamp raged on, eventually resulting in the death of Tecumseh himself and the warrior chief Stahata as well. Without Tecumseh's charismatic and tactical leadership, morale broke and many began to follow Proctor in his retreat. The retreat and American victory secured Detroit and the Northwest frontier for the Americans. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.